Well, the Swiss Superman able to topple a giant. The New Day is talking, just talking about Shaft. And, of course, the main event, Roman Reigns and Dean Ambrose taking on the Celtic Warrior and the dual champion. Were they able to trust one another? Well, we're going to talk more about that on this week's SmackDown Review. This is WGS-TV. YouTube, are you ready for your hot tag? Because it's time to warp. This is Lucas Bilber. And this is Ashton Spears. And we definitely watch WGS-TV. We're going to own it. Definitely watch it. It definitely Rest back, my battery! YouTube, I am the Russell Gamer, Double B Bully Boudreaux. Welcome you to another episode of WGS TV right here on youtube.com slash Russell Gamer. Today is Friday, September 18th, 2015, and literally, you guys are going to have to bear with me just a little bit for this review because I am, at this point in time of this recording, I am a little exhausted after being on the road for about seven hours, but... Uh, you guys, you guys don't tune in to uh, listen to my personal life. You guys want to hear what I have to say. So we're going to talk about SmackDown. And of course, with the, with the opening segment involving Sheamus and Seth Rollins, it was just basically a, a, a big setup for not only the main event uh, for SmackDown this week, but also for Night of Champions with the looming threat, excuse me, of um, Sheamus cashing in his Money in the Bank briefcase for Night of Champions. Now, whether or not they're actually going to pull the trigger and actually go through with this still remains to be seen. Um, because we never, nobody ever uh, would have guessed, well, I guess from the setup for Seth Rollins cashing in might have been a little obvious, but for when, they, when they're going to pull the trigger for Sheamus, that's a completely different story. But uh, anyway, with the opening tag match, uh, Becky Lynch and Paige uh, taking on Sasha Banks and Naomi, uh, was it just me, or was Booker T trying to play a little heel? Um, it, it was kind of a trend I noticed throughout uh, the evening of Booker T's commentary, kind of leaning towards the heelish side. And and if they want to try to push Booker T uh, to be the the heel color commentator, I, I wouldn't be opposed to it. Um, however, in this matchup, it was uh, Naomi uh, with a small package pin on page. To get the win for her team, uh, Paige showing more signs of frustration and possibly more signs of turning heel within uh, within the Divas Division very very soon. Now the the new day in this promo they did about talking about how the Dudley boys were disrespecting Mother Nature, that she was one bad mother, and that, that, that's when the uh, the Shack references cut Shaft uh, Shack ref. Shaft ref, yeah, Shaft, Shaft. I need to learn to read. Uh, shaft references keep coming in. I can't believe I said that that many times. That kind of shows you how literally mentally exhausted I am right there, right now at this point in time. Um, and this was just basically, it was scheduled to be a singles match, Kofi Kingston and Devon Dudley. Uh, and it was a very, very quick match. In fact, it was off of, uh, within about three minutes they had the finish. It was about a... A, dis a distraction from a th it was Xavier Woods and uh, allowing Kofi to schoolboy pin Devon off the distraction. Cesaro and Big Show. This was in indeed a really good match. Big Big Show's actually put forth some really really good matches despite all of the people out there who, who are uh, chanting for him to retire. And I think Big Show's proven them wrong. Uh, that he doesn't need to retire right now because he can still put on really entertaining matches, and he definitely did with Cesaro. Cesaro was looking, the storyline for this, Cesaro was looking for revenge from two weeks ago on Monday Night Raw when Big Show KO punched him from nowhere when the Big Show went to chase the Miz and couldn't catch the Miz. Uh, I'm surprised Miz didn't show up on commentary for this one, considering the fact that they're supposed to be working an angle. So, it would be creative, you need to get on the ball with that one. Uh, Big Show would hit the KO punch on the Swiss Superman to pick up the victory. Kevin Owens and Dolph Ziggler, um, you guys are going to have to forgive me. Um, I was uh, on the phone during the finish of this match, so I, I didn't get to see exactly what happened. But from the onset, they played a lot. Well, you know, now that I remember, now that I remember, remember I remember Ryback running in. 
to attack Kevin Owens. I'm not sure if that was if that was the end of the match or this was post-match, but Ryback came in basically almost to make a save on uh, Dolph Ziggler. But, you know, that's as much as I can remember when it pertains to that one. And now the main event, and, and look at this, guys. We're five minutes into the uh, into the review, and we're already at the main event. You know, but then again, this, it's typical SmackDown. You know, there's really not a lot to say when, when it comes to uh, talking about SmackDown. But SmackDown, in my personal opinion, has always been the B show. It's always been the uh, the mid card wrestling show because they need a spot on there. But um, anyway, it it kind of went the way I figured it was going to go. Uh, with, with Sheamus trying to do the the typical heel uh turn turning on a uh, Seth Rollins when he was trying to make the tag, and uh, before Sheamus could take the walk, he got intercepted by Dean Ambrose, who then. Throws him into Roman Reigns, which he follows up with a Superman punch. And then Dean Ambrose would hit the Dirty Deeds on Sheamus to pick up the win for his team. And then the, fi the final thing we would see would be another video vignette from the Wyatt family. You know, saying that whoever it is, whoever their partner is going to be, because it's not going to be revealed until this Sunday, that they're all going to they're gonna fall down. That's apparently... Uh, the way they're playing this angle now with the Wyatt family. Now, um, overall score on SmackDown this week is going to be a solid 3 out of 5. Uh, best match of the night. I'm going to give it to Cesaro and Big Show with the tag match. A, a readily a second place in there. Uh, worst worst segment was the Bellibration. Uh, and not only that, they... Uh, how the hell... Do they want to get heat on Adam Rose when he pooped on you know, Nikki Bella's party and kind of had a kick in the face for it, I think. So, yeah, so much for seeing that. And there was also reports all over Facebook about Damian Sandow uh, returning to his original gimmick, and it was supposed to be on SmackDown. But if memory serves me, and, I, and as I look through my notes right here, um, there, was no, there was no sign of Damian Sandow anywhere. On SmackDown now it might have been a dark segment but that remains to be seen but I'm, I'm just saying you know when these dirt sheets quote unquote dirt sheets uh, report on stuff I think they need to check the accuracy and the validity of um, their uh, news sources you know where, where they come up with these stories and whatnot to uh, make sure that these are 100% valid and 100% true uh, now I'm not going to discredit them but hey did you, did you guys see Damian Sandow on SmackDown? I didn't. I didn't. But um, anyway, what I want to know from you guys out there, the viewers and subscribers, your thoughts on SmackDown this week. What are your overall scores? What are your picks for best and worst match or segment of SmackDown this week? I definitely want to know what you guys have to say. You should put your comments in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and uh, don't forget to like and comment. Um, and subscribe and uh, also i want to make the announcement that uh, this sun this sunday i will be doing my my usual pay-per-view hangouts live uh for night of champions so if you guys don't want to hear sucky commentary from michael cole and, and the others you know you could just mute that and then come to the hangout and actually listen to good commentary um and you could also chat in the chat room as well so i'll be looking forward to uh here, seeing a lot of you guys um during the hangout this sunday for a night of champions uh, so be sure you look forward for that guys um, also don't forget to check me out on social media Facebook Twitter Instagram you can ask me questions links will be provided in the description box below and of course as always a video two videos will be in the annotations at the end of this video for you guys to check out as well so with that being said guys and gals I'm a very tired Russell Gamer saying we'll see you at the next Warp Zone That, that's the thing that can sometimes aggravate you about Dead Space the puzzle. Paul Cruz and Solomon Crow up next. Uh, again, you know, they're just pushing Apollo Cruz like crazy. Um, you know, they made Apollo Crow. It was 